Uh, so this is the Global Edge Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. Also today, collaborating with Academy International Business uh, on location in Austin, Texas, where we have a board meeting of AIB. Uh, so Global Edge Business Beat goes out to 200 countries, uh, and uh, Global Edge is 1.5 million active users. We have with us Lorraine Eden. She's president-elect of Academy International Business, as well as uh, professor and holds the Gina and Anthony 91 professorship in business in the Mace Business School at Texas A&M University. So welcome to the show, Lorraine. Thanks for inviting me, Tomas. We're going to talk about your incoming storyline about AIB. So your president-elect of AIB taking over that presidency in August of 2017 this year. Tell us about your background in international business so that the membership get to know you a little bit more. Well, I think about myself and my background in IB. I think that as as a child growing up, I grew up on the border between Canada and the United States. It's a six-minute interview, by the way. So the, the <laughs> child. <laughs> so I, I really think I've all my life been interested in international business from a child going going across to the American side, dealing with American currency versus Canadian currency, worrying about taxes, worrying about corruption and illegality. These all spring from being a child growing up on the border. The, wow. my, my interest in things on liability of foreigners, for example, on insiders and outsiders, comes from growing up on a border. Let's drill that down a little bit. If you had to describe yourself, we don't want to box ourselves in in any way, but if you have to describe yourself as a researcher, Researcher. What type of researcher are you? Um, I, Sariana said she was eclectic, and I was thinking and that was the word I would have used for myself, interestingly, too. Everybody loves um, John Dunning today. Uh, well, I think the interesting is I like puzzles. And I like puzzles that deal with multinationals, and I like puzzles that deal with multinationals from one country to another, so how institutions can affect their behavior. Um, I like shocks and responses. I'm very interested in when there's a policy change, how multinationals respond to that change. So Brexit now. You can go back and look at, I was uh, academic in Canada when the Canada-US Free Trade Agreement came in, when the NAFTA came in. So again, how firms respond when governments change the rules. We have a new president being elected today, being coming inaugurated. in, inaugurated today. And um, one of the big interesting issues is how the rules are going to change again, and how firms are going to respond to those rules. Which is frankly great for us as international business researchers, because we have opportunities that are going to be either close-minded, open-minded, or somewhat flexible. We have all kinds of different aspects of looking at that. Uh, you talked about a number of different things that intrigued you. Is there a particular passion in terms of research or topics at this particular point in time that intrigue you more than others? Well, I, I would say we, right now the thing that's driving me is worrying about transfer pricing. Uh, it's a huge issue, of course, at the OECD with the uh, BEPS initiative. I think those tax changes coming here in the United States will have clear implications. Maybe I should say transfer pricing is the pricing of transactions that happen inside the multinational. So any kinds of flows on goods or services, intangibles, um, IP migration issues, uh, restructuring issues. I think this is a huge topic now, and I teach a course on this. I have more than 100 students out in the workforce as transfer pricing professionals. So if you ask me what's near and dear to my heart these days, it really is the issue of tax and transfer pricing. My research topics are much broader. Uh, again, they're on shocks and responses. Uh, I have a piece just out on multinationals in war zones. When a war breaks out in a country, who stays and who leaves? What responses can you make? make. I have work on liability of foreignness. When you're an outsider, a foreign firm coming into a country, what are the ways that you can cope with liability of foreignness and survive in that foreign country? So those are some of the things that are driving my research. My near and dear passion, though, right now is transfer pricing. So you are the incoming president of the Academy of International Business, which means that uh, you really like us for starters, but you also value being part of AIB and then want to take a leadership role. And you obviously were editor of the top journal. We have Journal of International Business Studies previously. So multiple roles over the years, but the incoming precedence is the one that comes to mind. That also begs the question of uh, when and where or why did you get involved with AIB and uh, what is the value proposition of being part of this network to you? I, be I became an AIB member in 1991. And um, it was 
strong recommendations of two people who were both influential mentors for me, and that was John Dunning and Alan Rugman, wow. who both said, Lorraine, you need to join AIB. You'll yes. find a community of people there that care about the things you care about and that you can talk to and uh, enjoy, become co-researchers with. And that's exactly what I found. I found my core, if you had to have a core word that describes me, it's an interest in international. I, as again, as a border child, you might expect an interest in international. And at AIB, I find a group of people who care about international business, who care about multinational firms, um, who care about the things that I care about, and many of them have become co-authors with me over the years. Lorraine Eden has been our guest. I'm Thomas Solt. This is the Global Edge Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. Today, in collaboration with the Academy of International Business, Lorraine Eden, of course, is president-elect of the Academy of International Business, as well as professor in the Mays Business School at Texas A&M University with Eli Jones as a fantastic dean.